What is the angle between the hour and the minute hand of a clock? Let's discuss this special question from NDA 2013. So the question went like this. What is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock when the time is half past four? Half past four means when the time is 4.30. So to find this angle, let's discuss this super trick. The answer is 45 degrees. So the formula goes like this. It says 30 into whatever is the time in hours that you multiply minus 11 by 2 into whatever is the time in minutes. And why absolute value? Because we are only talking of the angle here. Okay. So for instance, this one 30 into 4 minus 11 by 2 into 30. So this is 120 minus 11 into 15 will give us 165. So the answer is simply 45 degrees. Henna simple. So take this video as a rapid fire for some questions. Also, there's a surprise in the end. I will be discussing the logic behind this formula. So stay tuned till the end. Now the same way, let's take another example. What is the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand when the time is 7.20? AM or PM, we are not concerned. So again, applying the same formula, this is 30 into 7 minus 11 by 2 into 20, right? So this is 210 minus 110. So the answer is simply... 100 degrees is the angle made by them. Wasn't this so quick? Same way I have the next two questions. So the angle when the time is 8.15 is obviously going to be 30 into 8 minus 11 by 2 into 15. Now this doesn't simply get cut. So you'll have to take the LCM and all. 240 minus 165 by 2. This makes it 480 minus 165 by 2 which is obviously, which will be 315 by 2, which is 157.5 degrees. Henna simple. These clock questions are not only important for your NDA, but for a lot of banking, railways, air force and many more competitive exams. So keep watching. Same way when the time is 310, so you can simply do 3 into 30 minus 11 by 2 into 10. So this makes it 90 minus you have 55, that makes it 35 degrees bingo. Okay, now is the time to explore the logic. Okay, how do you actually, how on earth do you get this formula? So I have taken this basic example. Remember the first question that we took which came in NDA was 430. So logically, let's see how we arrive at. Now I have just made a simple clock marking only those numbers which I need to explain. So 430 means technically this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand. Obviously, your hour hand is also going to be between 4 and 5 somewhere. Now, I have taken one reference point which is 12. Okay. So, first of all, exploring the simpler part, the minute hand. So, let's say this is the angle which I call as A. Okay. So, I need to get my angle A first. So, for this, if I am talking of minute. So, for the minute hand... We all know the minute hand in 60 minutes covers 360 degrees. So in some M minutes, it will cover 360 by 60 into M, which makes it 6M. So I can call this angle as angle A, which is 6M degrees. All right. Now, same way, if I have to talk about this hour hand, so basically we are looking to find this blue angle. Okay. If I have to call this as B. Now, here is a little twist. A, basically, if you see till here, till 4 o'clock, these are 1, 2, 3, 4. 
four full rounds okay so first of all talking of your hour hand the simple logic says that 12 gradations or these 12 numbers they cover the entire 360 degrees correct so that means one gradation covers 360 by 12 which is 30 degrees what do I mean by this one gradation? That means when, suppose it was 12 o'clock, next time it's 1 o'clock, next time it's 2 o'clock. So basically our hand is only moving this much each time. So this means in one hour, it covers 30 degrees, right? From 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock because my hour hand only moves one gradation. Now, obviously, in one hour, it is moving 30 degrees, correct? So, in certain H hours, it's going to move 30 H degrees. That means, from 1 to 4, I'm going to move 30 in 4 times. So, 120, right? But at the same time, there's this tiny little gap which has created because the hour hand moves slightly ahead when the time is 4.30. Ab agar isko bole x, okay? Now the logic. Now this is a matter of few minutes. So kya ho hai? We know in 60 minutes it's covering 30 degrees. So in certain m minutes my hour hand is moving 30 by 60 into m. So that means here I can say m by 2. So my x this tiny little angle is actually moving m by 2 degrees. So now talking of my hour hand and my minute hand. First of all, my R hand, that means in total is moving 30H plus this X. So 30H plus this X, which is M by 2. And my minute hand moved 6M degrees. Now this means I'm trying to say this whole pink angle, which is called as A, is 6M. And this blue angle, which was 30H plus this tiny little X, is angle B. So the required angle is going to be let's say b minus a so if i subtract the two 30 h plus m by 2 minus 6 m which means 30 h and if i take lcm it is minus 11 by 2 m bus yahi formula hai which we were applying all this while so if you understood it very well, otherwise in the competitive exams, you can directly approach the formula. And don't forget to comment the DIY in the section below. It's time for your do-it-yourself question. What is the angle that the hour and the minute hand make when the time is 9.45? So, quickly make a note answer fast because you know the top three correct answers always get named in my upcoming videos. Maza aya? If yes, then don't forget to hit the like button because it motivates me. Also, don't forget to share this video with all the people around you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that so far. It's absolutely free. And go to my channel, the playlist section. Bohat sare playlists hai for CBSE, ISE, NDA, JE. So, make sure you open and check out your favorite one. I would see you with the next video very, very soon. Until then, bye-bye.